Hi, it's Lonnie, and welcome to another day of Bible journaling in May. Today's word or prompt is multiplied. So I picked out a section of verses from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 2 to 4. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, seeing that his divine power has granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. For by these he has granted to us his precious and magnificent promises, so that by them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world by lust. What I think is interesting about these verses, it repeats knowledge of God, true knowledge of Him. Now, I haven't done a word study of the word of, of God, of Him. But the way it rings true to me when I read this is, and it didn't at first, it took me a while. As I was growing in my relationship with the Lord, it occurred to me that this could very well mean that grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowing of God. I know it says knowledge. But knowledge, like book learning, that's fine and good. But even Jesus said, you know, you search the scriptures thinking, you know, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said, but they speak of me. So it's good to know the word, but we have to know the God of the word, like the God who made the word, who spoke the word. And that's Jesus. I know Jesus is the word. But he did more than be the word. He he is. So I don't know if I'm making sense. But to me, when I read this now, it's the, the better you know him, the better you know Jesus, the more you get to know him. And obviously you do that through his word and prayer, spending time with him. The more grace and peace will be multiplied to us. So I think this is a very powerful verse. Um, seeing that his divine power has granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness. But see, if you don't know that, if you don't know the word, if you don't know him, you're not going to experience that necessarily because you, sometimes you have to press in. Like, let's say I need help with something. Am I going to go to somebody I don't know very well? Or am I going to ask someone whom I know and whom I know is willing to help? See, you are more likely to approach God when you know that he loves you and that he cares for you, as opposed to approaching a God that you don't know. If you have other thoughts on that let me know in the comments so I thought I would add a little bit of watercolor today I don't want to make it very wet though so I'm gonna actually I wanted to use some stencils and I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to try and make it fairly light. Maybe. We'll see how this works because I haven't done this before. I don't want it to soak up too much. I'll start down here. So it's fairly, it's fairly dark.
All right, so I just started and it looked a little dull with just the watercolor, so I decided to outline it with a thin pen. And uh, yeah. I like this one a lot, so I'm gonna do it again over here with a different color, I think. And I found out that if you move the stencil, you have to be very careful, otherwise it'll smear the watercolor. But I thought it would be interesting to see how watercolor and stencils go together. I guess as long as you keep it fairly dry, it should be okay. Maybe watercolor pencils would be the way to go and then just wet the or activate the color afterwards with a small brush. But sometimes you just want to try something that you haven't done before and see. And two, this isn't watercolor paper, it's just sketch pad paper. I got these uh, stencils, they're three inches squared, three by three, and um, I like them, but I'm finding with stenciling, you have to be careful that you don't lift the stencil as you're working, because it's very easy to smudge underneath. So how are you all doing? It's a new month and um, new things to look forward to hopefully. It's spring here and it's snowing. Fortunately the snow where I am is not staying. I guess in Calgary they had over a foot the other day. I don't know what's going on there now but here in Lethbridge, where I am, it's not staying so much, so that's, I mean, on the grass it is, but we're, we're driving and walking not so much, which I appreciate because it's a lot harder to get around when it's staying and slippery, and we really need the rain, so. All right, so that's still kind of messy. I guess I don't mind it, but I don't know if I love it. I'm just going to see how it... Okay, not too bad. If I stay on the dry side of the watercolor, then it will... It'll be alright. It won't bleed through too much. I usually use a Sharpie for outlining any watercolor, but I wanted just a thin line today. And two, I heard that these pens tend to smudge, so I was kind of hoping for a happy accident here, but I might have to wet it a bit more. So far, I'm not seeing any... Um, combinations of the black. I know they make special pens. I can't remember what they're called. 
it, when you um, when you put them I guess it's not really a pen it's some kind of a art pencil I guess um, if you put it on wet or if you put it on and then smudge it with a q-tip or a wet q-tip it will make this like shadow blurry effect it's a little intense for my liking so I was kind of just hoping for a little bit of that not too much So what I'm going to do just to experiment is going to go over some of these dark lines. I guess if you leave your it smud it bleeds a little bit but not much. So all right, so I'm, I'm not really sure what the name of these pens are. Um, my sister actually recommended them and sent me some. Um, and then I went and bought some more from Amazon, so they're three point five this was a package of 12 i saw a lot of references for them so i'm sure they're not difficult to acquire there all right i'm gonna put a rose in and for the rose i think i need an intense color here So let's see how this works. The darker, oh no, that didn't work out too well at all so far. It's um, it's running all underneath the stencil. My guess is I got it too wet. But I think I have a way to fix that. When it's all done, if there's too much, I can just go over it with a white jelly roll pen. Try that. So yeah, now I'm not too careful because I think I already buggered it up, so that's how it goes sometimes. And I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of green. Alright, that's not bad because where it pooled is actually in the middle, so that could actually work out for the better. So I'm going to outline this one from the outside. See what happens. That's the thing about 
wanting to experiment, you kind of have to be willing to deal with the consequences, so. I like controlled experiments, I guess. Kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to call that good for today. And uh, let's see what you're up to. Let me know how you're decorating your pages or what you're doing with your Bible journaling. Have you found a method that you like and that you're sticking with or are you experimenting? All right, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.